Good morning, I'm Nika. It's Monday morning, we're gonna do a Pilates for golfers workout. So what that's gonna focus on is the necessary, necessary muscle groups and movement patterns you need for your golf game. A lot of it's gonna help your setup posture as well as having the strength in that setup posture, especially in the lower body, which will help you in turn have more distance. You're gonna start on your back and we're gonna start with some bridging. So lower body stability first. Heels come under the knees, hands on your hips. You're gonna find your neutral. Inhale, when you exhale, tuck the pelvis. Inhale, arch. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, arch. One more, exhale, tuck. Then inhale, arch. Then find your halfway point between the two so you have a little bit of space under your low back. Hands come on the back of your legs. Heels are under the knees. You're gonna see if you can tighten these muscles without moving anything else in the body. So if I'm pushing my feet down, I'm trying to pull my glutes kind of towards my heels while my belly pulls up. It takes a little bit to get the feel for it, but it's something to practice and be mindful of so you can connect to your glutes when you need them. Now from here, arms come down by your sides. You're gonna inhale. When you exhale, you neutral bridge up so we don't flatten our back. We press into the feet and isolate the hips and the core, lift straight up. Then inhale straight back down. Exhale, lift up for nine. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift up for eight. Inhale, down. The whole time I'm keeping this feeling like my butt's pulling towards my heels and I'm pushing the back of the arms into the ground to start opening up the back of the body even more through my shoulders and my arms. Four more, exhale up, inhale lower, three more and lift and down, two more, lift up and down, one more, lift and lower. So now we're gonna go into single leg. I'm gonna have you today cross that left ankle over the right knee, and this one's gonna be articulated at the same time that that right hip is working. Your left hip gets a little bit of an opener. You're gonna inhale. When you exhale, roll through the spine, press into that right heel, press the hips up. Inhale at the top, exhale, roll back down. We're just gonna do five on each leg. Roll up and lower, three, and down, two more, exhale, lift, and back down, and then one more, press into your foot, lift up, hold, and then roll down. Now other side, left heel comes down, right ankle over the left knee, inhale here, exhale, roll up for five. One side may feel more open than the other, four, and exhale, three, two more, two, and one more, roll up, and then back down. Now we're gonna go into a little bit of core work. You need that core stability in your setup, but also as you're swinging to really generate power. You're gonna inhale, when you exhale, float your right leg in the tabletop. Inhale, then exhale, float your left leg. So from here, we're gonna go into toe taps. Inhale here, exhale, hinge the right. Lift, and then left. Right. Exhale, left. And right. And left. One more each side, right. And then left, hold the legs in tabletop. Hands come behind your head, interlace your fingers. Inhale here, exhale, curl the upper body up. Extend your right leg out. Inhale, exhale, switch. Stay lifted, switch again. And press out, three. Exhale, switch two, one and hold. Adding rotation, you're gonna inhale. Exhale, slight lift and turn towards that left knee and then back through center and switch. I'm going really slow because I don't want my other hip to move. 
If you do what you see a lot of people in the gym do, where they're just kind of flailing around with their upper body, their lower body ends up wiggling around and it's kind of pointless. You want to keep those hips really stable as you exhale, lift and turn. Last one. And then back down, hug your knees in. Now getting some core and hamstring mobility, straighten the legs up to the ceiling. Hands come behind your right hamstring or your calf. Curl the upper body up, elbows bent. Lightly pull the right leg towards you. One, two, switch. Pull the left, one, two, switch. Right and left. Right and left and right. Exhale left, one more each side. Try to keep those legs as straight as you can. And then back down, hug your knees in, nice job. We're gonna flip over onto our side. So I'm gonna lie on my right side, getting some sideline work. Now where this helps you is when you have to weight shift because you need this muscle for balance. So that balance and support is really important. Your hand comes behind your head, knees are stacked, hips are stacked. Lengthen the pelvis, little bit of space under your waist. You're just gonna do some clams here. Heels together, inhale. Exhale, lift the top knee up. Inhale, back down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, chest open, shoulders back. And this hip isn't rolling back. I'm working inside on this outer hip muscle right here. So I'm avoiding rolling back into my back and isolating through the side of the hip. Two more. So this is our hip external rotation, which you need, but you also need internal, which we're gonna do next. Now lift the whole leg hip height. Internally rotate where you bring your knees together, then come back to center. And two. And three, four, exhale, five, six, seven, exhale, eight, two more, nine, and 10, and rest. Before we do the other side, we're gonna go into a plank. I want you to get used to this position because we're gonna do a disassociation plank after the other side. Elbows come under your shoulders, chest open. Press the ground away, tuck the pelvis, lift the belly, hold your plank. Now if you want more, you can flex your feet, lift the knees off, full plank, but make sure all five toes are on the ground. Press back into your heels, tuck your pelvis, so that's lifting the belly, squeezing the butt a little bit, pushing away from the ground, keeping your spine in one long line, and pushing your hamstrings up so we get activation through the whole body. Hold for four, three, two, and one, come down. We're gonna go on our left side now, working that right hip. Hand comes under the head, line yourself up with the back edge of the mat, bend your knees. Lengthen the pelvis out, little bit of space under the waist again, and make sure that your hip bones are stacked. So my hip bones are stacked, my knees are stacked, my shoulders are stacked. Heels together, starting with clams. Inhale here, exhale, lift the top knee up. Inhale, back down. Exhale, lift for two. So a lot of times I put my hand on my hip to make sure I'm staying stable. Exhale up, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. And we're isolating right here. Now, if you're not sure what you're working, take your hand on the side of your hip. See if you can tighten that muscle, mind-muscle connection, before you lift the leg. Last three. Exhale, two. One more. Then we have internal rotation. So you lift the leg up, internally rotate, knees come together, back to center. Knees come together, back to center for two. Together, center three, and four, five. This whole time I still have my obliques active, six. So I'm lifting from underneath, seven. Exhale, eight, 
two more, nine and 10 and rest. Now your plank. This time you come up on your hands. Hands come under the shoulders, feet come back. Tuck the pelvis, hold. Press back into your heels, push the ground away and breathe. Now planking may be enough for you right here. So you're gonna just hold it. If you want a little bit more, you're gonna separate your feet slightly just for a wider base of support. And then you're gonna try to take your right arm off, look up towards that right arm without moving the hips, come back down. Right hand stays down, plant the feet, left arm off, look up to the left arm, minimizing the hip movement. Let's do one more each side. Reach and then back down. Other side, reach and turn and then back down. Come back to your knees, sit back on your heels. Now from here, you're gonna come onto your back again. Lying all the way down. We're gonna go into our roll up. So legs straighten out. A Little bit more core work and getting movement through the spine. So it's important to be mobile through the back of the body. Arms come up, flex your feet, inhale. Exhale, chin to chest, slowly roll yourself all the way up. Reach up and over towards those toes. Lengthen forward as you restack the spine. Articulate all the way back down. And then again, inhale. Exhale, chin to chest, avoid throwing yourself. You wanna go slow. Lift up and over. Lengthen forward. Come all the way down. One more, inhale. Exhale, roll up. Come up and over. Lengthen, come all the way down. Now going into our single leg circles. So again, we have stability on one side of the hip, working the core and working that opposition which gets the obliques firing too, which you especially need during your turn. So hands come on your hips. Make sure that you're not moving on this left side. You're gonna inhale, exhale, float the right leg up. So we have single leg circles. We inhale, cross midline. Exhale, circle down, round and up. Stop at the top for one. Inhale, cross. Exhale, circle two. Inhale, cross. Exhale, circle three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale, cross. Exhale, five. Hold it, reverse. Stay pretty much within your body. So we inhale, go out, exhale, circle for five. Inhale, go out an inch, four. Inhale, exhale, three, and two, and one. Slowly lower the leg. Now we do the other leg. Right hand on right hip, left leg lifts up. Inhale, cross, exhale, circle for five. Left hand is on the ground, four, three, Plant that right hip, two, and one. Lift and hold, then reverse. Inhale, exhale for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lower all the way down. From here, hug your right knee into your chest. Keep that left leg nice and long. Just helping release the hip flexor, but also getting a little bit of stretch in the hamstring and then switch. Now we're gonna take an exercise that's normally done on the Cadillac, but I've translated it to the mat. So roll yourself all the way up. And it's working that hip hinge that you need and some work in the glutes and the quads. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna be up tall on your knees. Take your hands on your hips for a second just to feel where you're working from. So this comes from this whole back of the body. We're gonna hinge back. I'm gonna take one hand on my stomach, the other hand on my low back to make sure I'm stable here. I'm not overarching my low back. I'm gonna press into my hips slightly as I hinge back. Then I'm gonna squeeze my butt, hinge back up, right? So I'm gonna feel my thighs, inhale, exhale, hinge. But I'm getting used to this idea of my glutes pressing me up. Inhale back, exhale, hinge. 
and my thighs get some good work, but in a nice lengthened position. Four more, four, three, inhale, exhale, two, one more. If that's enough for you, stay with it, but it is golf, so we wanna add some rotation. So I'm gonna inhale, hinge back. I'm gonna live here, arms out in front. I'm gonna rotate, reach back for that heel, come back to center, come up. Hinge back, keep my hips stable, rotate, reach. Back to center, come up. Hinge, rotate, open, center, and up. Now I'm rotating to give myself something to aim for. I'm aiming for my toes or my heel, but I'm isolating that movement in my ribs and torso here. And I'm using my glutes to help stabilize my low back. So the twist is in my obliques. I'm not overarching my low back and moving from there. I'm staying stable. Last couple here. One more. Back to center. Come all the way up. Nice job. Hands and knees. Take a second. You're going to take your right leg back. Getting some hip extension. Lift the right leg up. Pulse it up. Ten. Nine. Eight. So again, working this back side of the body so you have control in your hips, especially when you're trying to generate power. Four, three, two, one. Switch legs. Left leg extends. Lift. Nine, eight. Keep the belly pulling up. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, nice job. We're gonna come up to standing now. So roll yourself up slow. You're coming onto your toes, inhale. Press your heels down. Exhale, slowly roll yourself all the way up. Now again, in the standing position, you have that hip hinge. So we're gonna do a roll down, but I want you to focus on the hip hinge. So if you take your hands on your hip bones, hinge back first, right? So we have that neutral spine. Then when you can't hinge anymore, you're gonna roll down to touch your toes. Inhale, exhale, slowly roll up. Two more times. Hip hinge back, and then roll down, release. One more. Hinge and then roll down. Stay here, you can cross your toes if you want. You're gonna inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, straighten the back of the legs for one. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten two. Again, this is a movement stretching out those hamstrings will help you in your setup posture so your pelvis is in the right place. Last one, roll up. Now we're gonna take a floor exercise and make it a standing exercise because you need that length. So what you're doing here is we're taking our spinal rotation on the mat and doing it standing. Arms come out, you're gonna inhale, rotate, reach pinky finger for pinky toes, and then come back up. You do it again, you twist and rotate and reach. So you're gonna feel that stretch of the hamstring and that rotation of the torso keeping my hips pretty stable here. So I might even feel the glutes one more each side. And then we're just gonna add a rotation. But I'm gonna have you do it in a way that's a little bit more useful So you're gonna, for you. So you're gonna bring your feet a little closer. Hinge forward. Bring your left, right elbow inside the leg, lift and turn. So we're just isolating. And then back down, twist. One more. Lift and then switch. Right hand down, left elbow in, lift and turn. Three, two, one more. And then hang, roll yourself all the way up. 
Nice job. Thank you so much for joining me. That was your Pilates for golfers. I'm Nika. Thank you so much for watching Fitscope.